Hey everybody, thanks for joining us again. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the link below. Get on our YouTube channel, man. Get on our email list as well. Click on the link below to get on our email list and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can stay informed of the updates and constant materials we have coming out to help you guys in the entrepreneurial lane. Uh, we talk a lot about that over time and have a lot of great um, insight that we have coming down the pipe pretty soon. So I want to make sure you kind of get, you know, into the loop of a lot of that stuff or whatever. But honestly, today I just was, um, I wanted to do another pure raw motivation video for you guys. But I don't know, I just had a, maybe something almost like an epiphany today. And as I'm like in between businesses and clients and things of that nature, um, it just really hit me about all of the things that I've done and some of the motivational stuff and the things that I've learned from others and watching others, the things that they've done. And it just really hit me today that I really could be in a different position in life if I had just believed it from the beginning. And I have to really not be so hard on myself because I see how some of the things that I've ventured in the beginning and years ago and some of the things I experienced years ago, some of the things I've learned years ago from many of the, um, I guess some of the gurus of this lane, I really just didn't believe it. And I have to really just start being honest with myself that I really could have been in a whole different position even now. I mean, not saying that I'm just like, you know, in a terrible position in life now. I mean, I'm really enjoying life, I really am. But I really started seeing how, <laughs> excuse me, I guess it's like the skepticism, the skepticism that a lot of us have operated in in life including myself has really held us back um, I mean I think of a lot of the things that I'm doing now and a lot of the motivational tools that I have a lot of the I don't know the online courses that we're creating at our company um, man the people that we're actually starting to help now and progressing in business progressing in life and things are really starting to take shape now I started really seeing that I really could have done this stuff a long time ago like real talk I really could have really begin this process decades ago but I just didn't believe it and I think a lot of us have this skepticism of a lot of the, uh, I don't know, the opportunities that are presented to us. Now that's understandable because there are a lot of, I don't know, I guess scams or people with hidden agendas and things of that nature. And some stuff is just bad deals. Some stuff is just bad, it's just bad business, just to be honest. And some opportunities are not the opportunities for you. And I had to learn that along the way as well. But I really am seeing more and more a lot of this with just plain skepticism and just not believing some of this stuff works. And then when you start seeing, as I'm seeing, and when you start seeing that some of the people that started years ago around the same time that you started, but like myself, may have been procrastinating on things, I've just been such a skeptic that I just didn't take action on some things and just didn't really apply the implementation of some of these tools, the actual execution of um, some of the steps that it takes through the process to actually really make things happen. But when you start seeing other people that actually did, and they started around the same time you did, but they stuck with it. And then you start seeing the results in their life and then the lack thereof in yours, I think you really start sitting down and reevaluating some things. You really start sitting down and reevaluating your own life 
you really start sitting down and reevaluating your own decision making and realizing that a lot of this stuff was just plain old old school negative skepticism now you have to have a bit of um, I don't know I guess caution in anything you do That's just, I'm not saying go head in on anything and everything that comes your way by any means don't do that as you find yourself twenty thousand dollars in debt with no results and actually mad at yourself after you get tired of being mad at them for getting that twenty thousand dollars from you but when you really look at a lot of this stuff man really some of these tools and, and online businesses and networking and uh, even the business of buying and selling businesses or, or even if you're trying to buy a franchise or a McDonald's, I don't know, whatever it is you're trying to get into, real estate, whatever, whatever it is you're trying to get into, you have to, at the end of the day, you have to actually get into it and you have to actually take the action. You have to actually do the steps. And you have to get over the overly skepticism that hinders you from actually taking action because it's a heck of a thing to start seeing people riding around in Ferraris that started in the same time that you did or taking trips with their families for a month or two because they stuck with the process they stuck with the actual steps that it takes to actually do the things that you've been trying to do too but just didn't take the necessary action to do it. And just found all of the wrongs, found all of the problems, the reasons why you shouldn't, the reasons why it won't work, and all of that stuff. And you spend so much time in finding the reasons why something doesn't work that you end up not spending time creating reasons and solutions to make it work. And I'm saying this honestly from my own frustration too, just being real. Like, I really see, once again, I don't know, it's just the place I could really be. And I'm not saying it's from regret by any means. I mean, hey, all of it's part of the process. All of it's part of the storytelling. It's part of the story that goes with the story of telling your life. I'm just hoping that this actually, that this can touch someone out there now that's trying to get into business, that's wanting to um, do some different things in life, that maybe are looking at different business opportunities. Maybe you looked at some of the videos that I've created and some of the videos that uh, maybe have touched you along the way and some of the material that, that our company has. Because um, them guys have actually inspired me too. They have really, the guys that I work with, the women that I work with, they really help out in producing a lot of this material. sharing information with each other that I can share with you guys as well so but a lot of you out there I'm, I'm really hoping that this will touch someone that's really I don't know just kind of in that complacency stage and uh, maybe you're just looking at something kind of wanting to take some action on something been contemplating some things um, wanting to get out of the typical 9 to 5 I mean not saying you have a terrible job some people have some terrible jobs too but sometimes maybe you just want to try something new and really provide an avenue to be able to spend more time with your family, be able to create a second income, or just enhance your overall income, and be able to do more things you want to do in life, and have your time back to actually spend in your life doing the things that you want to do in life. Because at the end of the day, it's about time. So hopefully this can touch someone to, I don't know, just kind of get over that hump and just take a chance on some stuff, man. You gotta, you're not going to get around risk. Everything, there's a risk to it. I mean, your job is a risk. I mean, you might even say that you've been doing your job for 10, 20 years or whatever, and you're feeling all safe and secure. Yeah, but believe me, I've seen it where... I don't know, let's just say on the M&A area, which is merging and acquisitions lane, where people, companies, businesses actually buy businesses. And 
I don't know, someone might buy your business that you actually work for and they want to do some cuts because then they're doing some things on the corporate end that's going to eventually trickle down to affect you because then they have to cut jobs to restructure their bottom line. Well, guess what? You might be on the chopping block. So now after 20 years of work and service, you get offered a severance pay, which is cool. But now the, all of this safe and security just went out the window overnight. Just because this company wants to merge with this company. And these decisions are made from people that you've never even met. So maybe some of you are just kind of just on the fence, wanting to do some things. Maybe just needing some coaching. And, you know, we offer that as well. Uh, like I said, just click on the link below. Get in the pipeline. Go ahead and get on the email list. And maybe we can help you out in some of the coaching, some of the entrepreneurial type of lane, some of the bit getting, you know, getting businesses started. Or you maybe just finding out what type of business you even want to get into. You might not even know what you want to get into until it's presented to you, or just being able to talk some things out with somebody. And we definitely like to, you know, create that dialogue with you as well. And maybe we can help spark something that you want to do. It doesn't have to be with us, by no means. It's just about you getting off of your feet. And doing the things you want to do. Starting your business in the lane that you want to start it in. And being more self-sufficient financially. So that, you know, your whole income and your livelihood is not dependent upon one business or, or one income or one job. Um, that is attached to human beings you've never even met. And they can make decisions that can change that overnight. So, I don't know, give us a ring or just, you know, get on our email list, contact us, and maybe we can spark something, some type of dialogue or some type of ideals that you might want to do something in life or something different that you want to do. But like I said, this is just really, uh, I don't know, just me thinking about this, about my own self and really just challenging my own self of getting out of so much overly skepticism in life. Because that stuff really honestly hurts you. And it honestly um, blinds you from opportunities that really could be your opportunity. Now, once again, not all opportunities are your opportunity. I mean, the opportunities we have might not be your opportunity. It's up to you to, you know, analyze it yourself, see if it's for you, see if it's a good fit. Because everything is not a fit for you. We might not be a fit for you. But it's just really, at the end of the day, about at least having this dialogue going and getting those creative juices flowing to get you to at least start thinking about things in this lane and things of this nature to actually really get some things going for yourself, your family, and also your community. Because you cannot leave them out. You cannot leave your surroundings out. You cannot leave your community out because that's where you live. That affects you more than you know. And your community and the people around you affect you more than you know. So if you can be the catalyst of that change, you'd be amazed how your community can change. And your surroundings change, your atmosphere change, and you just create an overall more fulfilled life while you're here on Earth. So I hope this touches somebody. If anything, it darn sure touched me. <laughs> and I know it's going to touch some of my colleagues. I know it's going to touch some of my friends. Um, I know it's going to touch some of you guys that are already uh, sharing information with us, that are already a part of this network of people and this community of people that are sharing information with each other and pursuing goals in life. And uh, I don't know, man, just trying to create an overall more fulfilled life and a more financially independent life. So that way you can really be with your family more, do the things you want to do more, and help others. Because at the end of the day, it's about helping others too. Do not make a ton of money and just sit on your money and just think that's going to make you happy. That's not how it works. You have to be able to be a giver. You have to be able to help others. That's just part of it, man. I mean, I've seen it. I know there's, there's, I know some miserable millionaires. And you'd be amazed because it, it seems so foreign. It seems so unbelievable. But believe me, there are. So, hoping this touches somebody. Hoping this sparks somebody to take some action on something out there. And just kind of, I don't know, shed some light through all of this cloudy negativity out here. And, uh, 
be able to help somebody along the way while we are going forward hoping we can help share information with others to help them go forward as well so take care god bless make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and stay in the loop of the videos and the updates and the material we have constantly coming out stay in the loop man i'm telling you stay in the loop because this thing is constantly going and we're just enjoying life having fun keeping it fun and i don't know man Let's see what happens next so take care god bless subscribe to the youtube channel below click on the link below get on our email list stay in the loop of everything and we look forward to hearing from you take care and god bless